So wh yeah. what made you decide to ride 361 Ks? Um, <laughs> what keeps, what brings you back? And what made you decide to do something this crazy? Uh, One day from the start, hooked handlebars. Yeah, oh, bit the dust, eh? Yeah, oh, so patch me up, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I hope I don't burn too many matches now. Think you're gonna be fine for the rest? Oh, who knows? I'm uh, determined, so we'll see. 16 hours, but uh, 16 hours. No, yeah, let's hope. Let's see. Are you still on track? No, I don't know. All right, Garmin lost everything, so we'll see. Just going on feeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, let's I grew, just... I grew up with it, knowing it since a kid, being in my uncle's garage. And then uh, last year, I was invited to ride with Team Leave Lasting Legacy. And they said, just get a bicycle and come ride with us. So I asked my uncle, and he said, yeah, sure, no problem. You can borrow it. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a classic, it's a legend. Last year there were a lot of people asking me about it, but it's, it's wonderful. What's your thoughts now at this moment? Uh, just survive really. Yeah, I know, it's been good. Soul searching stuff. Um, I'm not going to swear on television, <laughs> but I'm man down now. And I think it's 70 or 80k 80 to go. 80, 80 yeah. To go, yeah. And you're 20 minutes down. Mm. Have you had any specific Ramses is kind of low lights <laughs> so far? Yo, it's far, eh? Very far. Mmm, it's far. <laughs> Dusty. After Royberg, when you guys found me, it was bad. I just thought I'm, I'm quitting. It's, it's enough. It's been far enough. I don't want to do it anymore. Everything hurts. My hands, my neck, um, everything. Feeling over the moon, brother. <laughs> over the Fantastic. moon. I can't wait for the next stage to begin. And what made you decide to do something this crazy? Uh, I'm a cancer survivor, so I'm there to show everybody that if you're living with an illness, you live your life. That's beautiful. Great, brother. Ach, I think it's just a personal challenge. Eh? If you know what what lies ahead, it's actually a lot more. Uh, challenging than uh, if you do, do it for the first time. It's a very good question actually. I don't think I've actually found the answer to that yet. It's probably yeah. one of those things that you enjoy retrospectively, you know. Yeah. So, you know, once you cross it, like it hurts until you cross the finish line and once you cross it, like, oh, that's why I did it, you know. For the, for the <laughs> So yeah, it is emotional and it's it's exciting. And the people you meet, you meet new friends every time. And yeah, it's, it's, it's the, I love it. So the camaraderie is kind of what gets you yes, through Yes, yes. And you start knowing more people, and the people know you, and the camaraderie is definitely very important, yeah. What's happened over here? Fellas, the cleat went loose. 
<laughs> now are we making a plan to put the screws back? So uh, I'm riding solo. I'm assuming he's riding solo. So we just kind of, yeah, you Keep know what? Mode. Help your mates out. You always take turns when you know I'm feeling tough, and then he pulls me through. And then when he's feeling a bit tough, then I help him out. So it's been a great adventure, I must say. So you know, if I can make somebody else's race better. So be it. I think that's that's ultimately what we're supposed to be as humans. Like, you know, go out there and enjoy it and help everybody else if you can. So I guess that's what should have put my humans. always says uh, go back to your task your main tasks it's just getting the pedals around and uh, getting to the finish that's all you have to do focus on that and um, well I guess uh, that was what I had to do when you found me just go back to my task I did it I finished it I'm proud